Moving on now to Ride. We're looking at the NOS Bulls and they have made a huge re-signing. Alexander Higgins teacher is back for another season in the inner west which is a uh, great news for them really the spine of their team potential mvp candidate garen alexander higgins teacher what does he bring to this bulls team well he brought even more bounce than he did last season went to his bounce technician in the off season and just elevated his spring to another level he's yeah, the like... king of the dunker spot mm. just knows how to operate there really well soft hands can throw it down can rim run can catch lobs and really working on that three-point shot Went down to um, the automotive shop on the off-season also, yes, and worked on the mechanics of his jump shot. And really keying in on those minor details, and it's looking crisp. It's looking crisp. They so can give you maybe one to two three-pointers a game. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think, yeah, if, if AHT can just, like, be a little more consistent with that three-point shot, he's he's in the NBL. Oh, yeah. Put oh, yeah. him in the NBA as well. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're turning into a hot tax channel. Let's do it. Um, another big re-signing as well, Tony Tolovai, back for another season. Garen, what do we call him? The Michael Beasley of the league, the walking bucket, three-level scorer, the one dribble pull-up king. And he's in the weight room with Bon Vid, yeah, so that damn. season weight is looking, the strength is looking just crazy. He can back you down, he can get in the post, just multiple ways. He can burn the defense, so... Yeah. You need your meat and three veg there as well, and Tony's only got the meat on the bone. And those two players, Alexander higgins teacher and Tony, man, it's like a great case for a dunk contest in NBL 1 East. Bring us back. What if our league had it a few years back? Bring it back. You definitely have the competition for it now. And the three-point shootout. Yeah. A ton of elite three-point shooters that are deserving of showcasing their marksmanship from behind the arc. So. Yeah, and a commentator's three-point shootout would be pretty good as well. Bring between you and McQuaid. Oh, McQuaid. McQuaid easily. Are you kidding have you seen the play too? Yeah, dead eye in the corner. Dead eye in the corner. Yeah, then that's 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 not a not a very well kept secret. He, he likes to show. Next uh, next up is the si new signings for the Inner West Bulls. Of course, last year they had two of the best imports we've seen in the East competition. I mean, over the next two seasons, but Chris Bryant and Blake Morrow both moving on. Blake Morrow heading to the Norwood Flames huh. down in Where he NBL to play in South. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's not a redhead pun either. Um, so. Potentially uh, replacing Chris Bryant, of course, it's a huge hole to fill, is Zach Hudson, a new import for them. He's a big man, he's a big body. Um, uh, he's played professionally in Europe and places like Malta. Um, averaged about 10 points, four rebounds in the Euro game, um, uh, but previously played college at Central Baptist University, where he averaged 13 and seven. So a real big body, Zach Hudson. Um, they're gonna need it, like him and AHT are gonna be a good little one-two punch. They can have that same chemistry that uh, Chris Bryant and Higgins Stitcher managed to develop then. I think, you know, there's no reason why the Inner West Bulls can't become minor premiers again. But um, stiff competition this year. They'll look to keep that momentum going under the new coach in Lau. Another big signing, Jake Omar. Now, we're saying Blake Morrow going to be hard to replace, but this guy is an absolute gun. We've watched a lot of his highlights out of the University of Western Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Georgetown College in Kentucky as well. Kentucky, Every... Kentucky. Yeah, man, he's he's, he's frying. Um, he's, he's got 17 points per game in college, so really crafty finisher. Can find like can slip through any gap, take contact, get the N1 play, and a absolute quick trigger shooter. Um, so shooters on the loose still in ride, so. You know, be careful out there. Jake Omar will be unleashing soon. I think he has arrived in Australia from what I've seen. So welcome there to the NBL 1 East. Yeah, Jake Omar. There you go. Um, and last big signing as well, for now anyway, is um, Vilami Fakadi, or Vili, as they call him, returning to Sydney after spending three seasons in NBL 1 North, where he won the inaugural championship with the Mackay Meteors. Um, so, moving down from Mackay back to Sydney, um, yeah, previously played Waratah League with the Maitland Mustangs. Yes, he did. Wow. Yeah, and... Um, I guess that's Nuggets research. I do recall him playing for Maitland, moving his talent over to Inner West. So, yeah. there you go. It's going to be, yeah, a good, a good, good pick-up for them as well. Also played for UTS back in the day, pre-UBL days. Um, he's a shooter, an elite defender, 
Um, really good pickup at the kind of two or three spot. Um, we'll see how it fits with all the others. Yeah, all the other signings. So yeah, very solid player. Good to have him back in New South Wales basketball. And um, also his experience playing for Tonga, for the national team. Here you go. On now to the Northern Beaches. The North of the Spit, Manly Riga Seagulls are um, making some waves this off season. We talked about them in probably the first episode, um, re-signing a lot of players, but two new imports for them. Starting with the men's, Jonas Harper um, out of Boston University. Um, Three-time all-defensive guard in that conference in his time at university. Great shooter as well, um, Jonas Harper. I really don't know how Manly Ringer managed to get this this guy. He looks really yeah, impressive. It's on yeah. paper, yeah. Um, so obviously signed Mason Bragg earlier in the offseason. So you got to think that's your backcourt right there, Jonas Harper and Mason Bragg. It'd be interesting to see who does ball handling. But... And you got Matt Eldridge, I believe, returning. Yeah, as well. Um, big in Michigan. the middle. Um, check out our first episode if you want to see our little summary of... Uh, Big Matt from Michigan. Uh, and then moving over to the women's team, in that first episode we were talking about, Garen, that the women's team, they need a, a bit more, a few more bigs on the scene. Um, Kim Hodge really shouldering a lot of the load for that team. You did say that, yeah. And be careful what you wish for, because you might get Brooke Flowers, oh. a St. Louis graduate. Um, so yeah, played D1 NCAA, led that school in blocks. So defensive presence for sure. Second all time at that in that university in rebounds, yeah. And um averaged a double double throughout a college career. So Manly Which is impressive to do it consistently. Yeah, Manly Ringer just really looking dangerous again. Of course with Lauren Jackson back in the women's competition. Some teams looking to get a little bigger, a little bigger. Yeah. Um but yeah, Manly looking to see uh, looking to back up their minor premiership mm -hmm. season of course. Everyone just... adding bigs purely because they gotta defend against Lauren Jackson. Jumping to the other side of the Spit Bridge, we're going to talk about the North Bears. It took a while, took a while to get to the North Bears. Um, so we're not bus, we're not bus. Um, new signing for them. Speaking of getting bigs, you know the landscape of the league's changed a little bit. Sydney Cooks, a new import signing for yeah. Bears. Well, they say you can't have too many cooks in the kitchen, which is why we only got one, and the one we needed was a big. So really backing up or bringing that presence that Sarah Schickle brought and having two reliable centers like that that can really add defensive presence yeah. is going to be tough to score against to experience James. Oh, it's big, it's big. A 2017 McDonald's All-American played, uh, played for the University of Michigan State, um, Mississippi State as well as Seton Hall University. Garen can really score as well. That's an um, underrated part of the game. I mean, of course the Bears Got a lot of scoring options, but Sydney Cooks is going to give them that option on the inside. Also, we love our Sarah Shaker middies and um, the little the little pirouettes in the paint. She so, had seven last year, so yeah, it's great, it's great. And Sydney, Sydney Cooks will look to um, you know, it looks like they'll be a one-two punch. Maybe play next to each other. Maybe one will come off the bench. But yeah, loading up on big. So yeah, Sydney Cooks. Um, I think from Wisconsin as well. Yes, certainly. I have experience with the Wisconsin basketball program, so yeah, there you go. never have enough. And moving over the imports on the other side of the Bears, um, Mandrel Worthy. So Brennan Rimer's former college teammate, now suiting up for the Bears, so they're reunited, and it looks so good. It was playing last season in Diamond Valley um, in NBL 1 South. Defensive wing, hyper-athletic. And a really good roller skater in the off time as well. So hopefully you can check out the roller skating rinks we got to have to offer in Sydney. So, yeah. such a talented athlete. And definitely worthy of getting front court sets and watching this guy throw it down a couple of times. Because he will in this NBL 1 competition. He has bounce for days also and can really get up there. So, mm, him and yeah. Rima, one two punch, the chemistry is back. So. Yeah, so North's really stacking up on the wings this season. Um, you know, you're going to have your likes of Golding, Worthy, um, a few other yeah. players mm -hmm. we can like, actually talk about. We can't um, reach just we'll yet. see, we'll see. Am I not too sure? We've heard speculation. Well, we got Holy, we got Badalassi. Yeah, which is who we're going to talk about now. Petro Badalassi has moved up from Canberra to beautiful North Sydney, same as St. Leonard's, I've heard. Um, and he's another uni uh, reunion, which uh, with Lewis Holy, they played together at St. Francis. If you've watched NBL 1 East, you'll know he's uh, won the inaugural championship with Canberra Gunners back in the day. A real blue guy. Um, I would compare him a little bit to Mike Golding, 
um, in terms of just does all the all the dirty work, all the small things. An excellent perimeter defender, really good perimeter defender, um, a glue guy, um, and yeah, can shoot the shoot the three. But yeah, not gonna not gonna over overshoot. Just fits in his role really well. Yeah, so high IQ on the shot selection end of things, and yeah, like you said, glue guy sponsored by Spotlight. Hopefully, gets a Spotlight sponsorship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, spotlight. We'll, we'll All things glue and crops. Yeah, we'll be giving us some new material soon as well. So yeah, Badalassi, another great signing. North's looking really good this season. We're not biased, but the men's side looking really good. Um, women's are reloading as well. So, Garen, that's all we have time for today. Um, big off season. We'll try to keep these episodes coming out. So thank you for everyone who's tuning in. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of new viewers coming in, a lot of new subscribers. So thank you to everyone for giving us a go. And thank you to James for editing all the videos and putting in the hard work and the unseen hours to making these videos look mint. Yeah. I don't know, they, they, they go okay, they go okay. But um, if there's anything you'd like to see us do a bit more of, um, just leave it in the comments, uh, DM us, I don't Any know. Any player highlights you want to see specifically? Any league highlights you want to see? Anything, give us a shout out, anything we can change or whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever we can do for you. If you want to come out for dinner, just let us know. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll cook, cook up Cook up the other, oh, really nice pasta. Mm. Absolutely made with the pecorino and the, and the mushrooms. Oof. Yeah, simple but sensational. Garen, catch you next time. Thanks for joining us on Two Feet in the Paint. Summer edition. Summer edition.